Hi everyone, I'm Bill Lansdowne, retired chief of the San Diego Police Department. For most of us, our phone is our right hand. It's our go-to device for staying connected, engaging in social media, taking photos, and storing personal information like bank logins and passwords. If your phone is ever lost or stolen, all of that is at risk. So what should you do? Today we'll outline the steps you need to take to protect your personal information, including some things you can do right now. We'll also show you how to prevent a thief from using your phone and give yourself the best chance at getting your phone device back. Here are the five steps you should take if you find your device missing. First, try calling your phone. Hopefully it's found its way into the hands of an honest person who wants to return it. If that doesn't get you anywhere, the next step is to use a location monitoring or safety app installed on your device. Many of these phones have the apps built in. They can help you track down the device. You might find the phone in the coffee shop you stopped by earlier in the day. But if the locator app shows your phone is in an unfamiliar location, chances are it's stolen. Don't chase down the phone yourself. This can potentially be dangerous. Leave it to the experts and call the police. If your phone doesn't have a locator monitoring or safety app installed, visit phonetheftfacts.com for a list of options. Often, your service provider will give you the option to change your account information, specifically your passwords, from a remote computer. Find out if this is possible and reset any passwords right away so the thief can access your personal information. Next, call your service provider to do two things. First, you want to get your IMEI or MEID number. This is the device's unique identifier and is important information to provide to the police. You should also note down the make, model, and any other identifying information about your phone. Second, let them know your phone has been stolen or misplaced and have your account temporarily suspended. The sooner you can report the information to your carrier, the better, because you may be liable for any charges that accumulate from the time your phone is misplaced until the time you can call them to let them know. Here's an important reminder, though. Once you disconnect service, you won't be able to communicate with your device any longer. So if you have any security apps installed on your phone, like Find My iPhone or Android Device Manager, services that will allow you to wipe your device from the internet, make sure you do this before putting your account on hold. Next, if the phone has been stolen, report the theft to the police. Documenting the theft is extremely important so that if the phone does turn up somewhere at a later date, it can be returned. Make sure to provide your IMEI or MEID number and notes about the phone, as is the case with any police report. The more information you can provide them, the better chance they have at finding the phone. Finally, after you've suspended your account and filed a police report, for extra security, visit the online version of any app you were actively using on your phone. The app service may let you deactivate your account, log out other devices, or change your password. This is an extra safety step you can take to ensure someone else can't use your phone to access highly public sites like Facebook or Instagram, or extremely confidential sites like your bank account.